Um, so first, uh, I would like to thank the organization for the opportunity. Thank you, Katiane, for introducing me. So I will talk about uh, the ratio estimator and the, and the probability prior shift assumption. This estimator is our approach for the quantification problem. So let's go. So first, what is the quantification task? The quantification task is a new machine learning task. It uh, was introduced by Forma in two, 2008. Um, and it um, is accurately estimate the class distribution in a unlabeled data set. So how does it differ from the classical estimation problem? Here, we don't have a labeled sample like in the classical estimation problem, but we have some covariates. So, for example, um, the sentiment analysis problem. So, um, here, we, we have a book, a book with uh, several uh, chapters, okay? Um, and we are interested in to estimate the pos uh, positive, uh, the proportion of, of positive label uh, reviews, Twitter's reviews about each, uh, each uh, uh, chapter. Here uh, we have the tests, texts associated and with um, each uh, Twitter's reviews, but we, uh, we don't have uh, the true label associated uh, to each uh, review. So uh, a way of, um, of solving this problem is read, simply, simply read the, the, the reviews. But uh, the, this process is very expensive. So uh, how can we uh, uh, estimate this proportion without uh, to label uh, uh, all the, the reviews? This is the, prob the problem here. So here uh, we, we have two different populations. Uh, we, we will uh, count these populations by target population and training population. The target population is the interest population. So the, the key idea here uh, is take, uh, are taking a training population which is related with the target population in some sense, and uh, we can observe uh, Y in this population. So after uh, defining this population, we take uh, a, a sample, uh, the, a, a sample for, for, from this pop, these populations, um, we we will call uh, this this sample samples by training sample and target sample. Um, our, uh, our goal is to estimate the probability of the pro positive class in the target population, without uh, having access to the Y. So um, in, uh, again, in the sentiment analysis application, um, we we can take it as the 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 the, the training population as the first 
chapter, for example. And the target population uh, are the, um, all the other chapters. So uh, we can take a sample for, uh, for the reviews about uh, the first chapter. So we can read its rev uh, these reviews and uh, to label them. After, uh, we, we can study some relation between the reviews and the true label. We, we use the, uh, this relation after in, in order to estimate uh, the, 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 the proportion of positive class in the other chapters. chapters. So um, I will talk about the classifying count approach. And is, is, uh, it is a usual approach in the practice. Um, after I introduce the rate of estimator, which is our approach for the problem, uh, lastly, I, I will uh, show uh, some experiments in order to compare the, the methods. So the usual approach, uh, the classifying count approach. Here, uh, we... The, the classifying count approach is a, a basic approach. And the, uh, the key idea here is training, uh, take a, uh, a, a, a training sample and use the training sample to, uh, for training a classifier. So, after we use this classifier in another chapter. And we, we take uh, the classifications as the true label. So we can, uh, we can estimate, uh, estimate the, the positive class, uh, the, the, pro uh, the proportion of positive class. So uh, there, there are some problems in this approach because uh, when we use classifiers, we introduce some noises. Moreover, uh, we showed it that it is not constant. And it doesn't consi consider the data set shift. That is, the... Um, uh, when we use classifiers, uh, the basic assumption is that uh, the, um, the distribution in the training in the target uh, population is the same. So, but uh, here, it uh, is, is not necessarily true because the, um, the, pro the, propor the proportion can change uh, over the captors. So uh, we need to uh, consider this case in, in some way. So um, we, uh, we work in the ratio estimator and the, and the probability prior shift. Uh, is, uh, it, this is a, a pro, uh, an approach uh, uh, when, where we consider the probability prior shift assumption. So we, we consider the, the data set shift making uh, this assumption. So this assumption states that uh, the, conditional, the conditional distribution 
of x given y is the same in the, the, the two populations, the target and training population. So, in the sentiment analysis example, um, we assume if, uh, that uh, given uh, a review is positive, and it's positive, the probability of a, a specific word, say good, for example, is the same in all the chapters. So here, we, it, uh, this assumption makes sense. So let, let it G be a real function of the covariate. Under the probability prior shift assumption, we can uh, write the probability of interest, uh, the interest probability as a ratio of, uh, of expected values. When, uh, where, um, where each, um, each uh, expected value is only depend of y in the, t the training population, where, where um, it is no. So we define the rate estimate uh, and only replacing each um, expected value by uh, its re re respective uh, sample estimate. estimate. So uh, the rate estimator is a family of estimator in the sense that uh, for each G function, we have a different estimator. So, um, how can we cho uh, choose a function G which led to a good estimator? So, in order to have some insight about this, uh, we evaluate some properties of this estimator. So, we, we show that the rate estimator is approximately um, uh, unbiased for the proportion. Moreover, um, we evaluate the mean squared error for this estimator. So here, uh, in order to have uh, a, a small mean squared error, uh, we must uh, have uh, a larger value here. So the expected value uh, of G when Y is equal to 1 is very different than the, the expect, expected value of G when Y is equal to zero. Moreover, the, the variance of G when Y is equal to one and when Y is equal to zero uh, must be small. So this interpretation, uh, this interpretation is very interesting because uh, um, a, a possible way of choose G is using a classifier here. So it's, if we, we take G equal to a classifier, we have this estimator. So this estimator uh, can be interpreted as a, co a correction of the classifying count approach. It is um, a very interesting result. Moreover, uh, the, the rate estimator is constant for the, the interest proportion. 
So when the sum, uh, sample size in the in the target is very larger than sample size in the train, uh, we we can rewrite the mean square drill error as this, this expression. Uh, is a very, very, um, uh, this expression is more simple than, than the another expression. So, uh, another way of choosing uh, a G function is ba based on re reproducing kernel Hubert space. So here the key idea is choosing good function Gs in a reproduction kernel Hubert space, which minimizes the approximation of the mean squared error. So uh, we take this expression as the estimative of the mean squared error. Uh, we, uh, we will find a smooth function G such that the estimative of the mean squared error is small. But if in the solution of this um, optimization problem, where uh, 8K is any reproducing, uh, reproducing kernel Hubert space. So let K be a kernel and 8K be its correspondent reproducing kernel Hubert space. For a positive lambda, uh, the solution of this, pro uh, this optimization problem is given by uh, a linear combination of kernels. So um, here, the coefficient of this, this linear combination is such that um, the solution of another optimization problem. But uh, this, this problem we can solve. So, um, now, uh, I will present uh, some experiments in order to compare the methods. So, uh, we consider four different data sets. Uh, we develop an algorithm that allows simulate a probability prior shift scenario and control the average of the distance of the positive class the probability of the positive class in the training and the target po population. So we, we consider it G equal to 0, 0 0.2 and 0 0.4. For, um, for each uh, setting, we generate in, uh, 100 different samples. So for the classifying count approach, we consider uh, the classifiers logistic regression, KNN, and the random forest. For the rate estimator, we consider the same uh, uh, classifiers and the reproducing robot space, uh, the reproducing kernel robot space approach. So here in the y axis, we have the mean squared the error associated uh, to the method. Uh, in the, the x, x, axis, we have the method. Uh, the four first methods uh, is the rate estimator. Uh, the other methods is the classifying count. So here, uh, in, in, in many scenarios, the, the, the rate estimator and the rate estimator led to, to better results. Uh, moreover, in, in some scenarios, 
the, the rate estimator based on reproducing kernel rubric space led to the best result. So in this work, we showed that the rate estimator is a promising method to solve the quantification problem under the probability prior shift assumption. Uh, we have noted uh, in our experiments that the turn parameters used by the reproducing kernel hybrid space approach have a large influence on the results. So in the future, in the future we explore better this. Uh, we, will, uh, we will also explore novel ways of constructing the function G. So, uh, thanks.